One of the things the student athletes asked for was the addition of a black W to every Wisconsin jersey this year. It was something that the administration agreed to. Joshua, when you look at that gesture, when you look at the rally and how well attended and well received it was, what does that say to you? Well, you know, I, I think the, the rally is probably the, the bigger image for me than the changing of the uniform and it's such a big deal to alter uniforms because you have all these different standards and you got to go through different protocols to do it but it's the action behind it to me that i think makes a difference and i've seen firsthand what that action is 2017 urban meyer invited me back to talk to the ohio state football team about colin kaepernick's protests in the nfl and what it means to protest but also the action you need to take behind it and he helped me facilitate similar conversations with ohio state basketball with Gary Anderson at Utah State, who's a former Big Ten head coach. Urban Meyer set up different, it was Patriots Week is what he called it, and this was after I was gone, but it was around two, 2017, where he had a Democrat come in, talk from a political science standpoint about what it means to be a Democrat, then had a Republican come in, then got his guys registered to vote, and then wrote letters to veteran families, and they did this over the course of a week. He also hosted roundtables. He would bring law enforcement in, he would bring local dignitaries, he would have the student athletes all sit together and have discussions about issues that are going on in the community. So, you know, Urban was doing that back in 2017 before it was even a popular thing to do because he cares about the locker room and the guys that are in there. But this has been going on across college football, college athletics in general. There has been a big push for student athlete voices, but also the action that comes behind it, the organization that comes behind it. And that's the bigger thing than any patch somebody could put on a helmet. Yeah, there's no doubt, Joshua, that the the behind the scenes is more important than the outward sign that you might do on a uniform. But I think the uniform connects a lot of the alumni, right? I mean, you buy apparel of your school, you're always proud about your uniform, and, and people don't change uniforms uh, all that much unless you're, it's, a, it's a special uniform, which Oregon started that whole trend. But I remember uniforms being sacred. I don't ever remember having the ability as a student athlete to change the uniform. And, and remember, the apparel companies that have contracts with all these schools, they're also impacted, but they had, a, had to back down. And, and Revy, you mentioned the, the Black W, and we just watched something from Wisconsin. I, I think this sums it up best, and this is from Armani Brown. She is a woman track uh, participant on the Wisconsin team. We chose the UW crest because it's a symbol of the entire body, Brown explained. We didn't want to make it just about us because it's not just about us, it's about everybody on campus. A and the, the action behind the scenes, how it's certainly more important, but to have an outward symbol that we are all together, I, I think speaks to the people that have come before this generation of athletes, and I think it's a powerful message. And I think you're absolutely right when you talk about the symbol uh, really drawing the entire community uh, of that institution together, because that's significant when you make a change like that. But what I like about being able to make a change like that is that it shows that at the very top, they are listening to the concerns of the student athletes and the community as a whole. They understand how difficult it is to make changes and alterations to uniforms that is not done from a monetary standpoint. This is a standpoint to bring the community together. And I think it again just speaks volumes to what our young people are able to do. And they are taking great advantage of the platforms that they have to bring about change for all of us. And it wasn't just about the uniforms either from the university's point of view. They also announced a strategic plan, diversity, equity, and inclusion strategic plan that was released on the same day as the rally. So a lot of positive things happening at Wisconsin. And again, it is unfortunate that it took what happened this summer to get to that point. But kudos to the student athletes in particular for letting their voices be heard.